So Boogie2988, as of now, is in jail. He has a $5,000 bond. Um, I have a lot to say about this, so let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. First and foremost, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy my content, make sure you hit the red subscribe button and also hit the bell to get notifications of all my newest uploads. Thanks a bunch. Um, a couple days ago, I talked about what happened with Boogie2988, and I'll give a Cliff Notes version of that again. In late 2020, or September of 2020, I should say, a personality named Frank Hassel, who I think is a living piece of garbage, when Boogie specifically told him during a podcast one time to not come to his home. Now, yes, Boogie did say some things to him that were dumb, but Boogie explicitly told this guy, Frank Hassel, do not come to my home. Like, it was clear as day, clear as crystal. There was no debating that Boogie did not want Frank Hassel to come to his home. Now, Frank Hassel, his own th his whole thing is literally what his name, Frank Hassel, like is in hassling people. That's what he does. It's what he's known for. And he did it to Boogie for a very long time. Now, Boogie did say some dumb things to him out of anger, um, but still not saying it was right for him to say but he told you, Frank, not to go to his home. You went anyway. And that's how this whole situation started. Now, again, I don't condone what Boogie did. He fired a warning shot into the air. The gun actually was his roommate's gun. It wasn't Boogie's gun. It, it was just a terrible idea what Boogie did all around. But I understand that Boogie felt, felt genuinely threatened. He did feel genuinely threatened. And that's why how this whole situation went down. Needless to say... Now, due to what happened, Boogie, who had a warrant out for his arrest, $5,000 bond, he said on Twitter that he was going to comply with police fully, and that's the situation that he's in now. This comes from Dixerto.com. I'll have a link below in the description. Just want to read it to you so you know everything that's official here, and then we will discuss. Popular YouTube star Stephen Boogie 2988 Williams has been booked into the Washington County Jail following charges for aggravated assault when he fired a warning shot during a confrontation with fellow YouTuber Frank Hassel back in 2020. Williams is currently being held on $5,000 bond while his court date is officially set to May 28th. And here's a channel, of course, you have these sock account channels. I have them about me too. Uh, that said here, looks like he will be in there for a couple days. This is just yesterday talking about Boogie. It's called Boogie Truth. Let's see if the activity on his sock puppet account magically stops now. Now, am I saying what Boogie did here was right? No. Should he face some kind of repercussions? Yes, because God forbid you shoot that gun up in the air, the bullet falls down, and I think there was a school near where he lives. What happens if it hits a kid? What happens if it hits somebody? But do I think he should have jail time? No. I don't think he should have jail time. Do, do I do I think that he should face the maximum sentence he could face? No, I don't think so. I, I, I think that the circumstances surrounding this with Frank Hassel should be mentioned in court, and I, I, I think that he should get some leeway. I, I don't think he should see jail time because what Boogie did technically is a Class D felony. And here is a little Google summarization as to what could happen to Boogie. Class D is the least serious and includes domestic battery, reckless burning, cruelty to animals, defacing a firearm, and aggravated assault. For Class D felonies, you can receive up to six years in prison and a fine of up to $10,000. So if they wanted to throw the book at him for what he did, he could receive six years in prison. That's insane. That's absolutely insane now again i want to make it abundantly clear i do not condone what boogie did he it was reckless and it was irresponsible but on the flip side imagine someone showing up at your house who you know hates you who you know has said terrible things about you before and they are at your doorstep they are at your doorstep when you specifically told them not to be there Frank, ha there has to be something where fr he was trespassing on someone's property. He was absolutely trespassing. Why, why is there no legal repercussion for him? And this piece of, I wish I could say what I really wanted to say, this piece of garbage. I'm sitting here looking at his Twitter account right now, and he's making a joke about it. 
he's absolutely making a joke about it, and, and he doesn't care. He's just literally he. I know it's a word that's been watered down to uh, someone na- because someone named Phil used it for anyone who criticized him before. Not to bring him up in this video, but this guy's a sociopath. He's he's retweeting a petition from Change.org to give Boogie the death penalty. How anyone supports this guy? You are ju- if you support Frank Hassel and and you truly like what he's doing. You're just as much of a piece of crap as he is. You're aiding and abetting, allowing him, you're you're furthering what he does because he's like, hey, people enjoy this. There's people as terrible as me. I'm gonna keep going. He is a disgusting human being. Again, I'm not saying what Boogie did was right, but this Frank Hassel guy is an absolute joke, and he's sitting here trying to go after people trying to meet underage kids like he's trying to be some kind of hero get out of here man you only care about the spectacle you are literal garbage and if anyone here is a fan of him who's angry about that i don't care frank hassel is a piece of crap human being i can't repeat it enough and i hope he also faces some kind of repercussions because yes what boogie did was wrong but you went on a man's property who didn't want you there when he specifically told you he didn't want you there. And again, I have to bring this up again. Even if you don't have any malicious purposes, you're a fan of a YouTuber, you're a fan of a celebrity, you're a fan of an influencer, and someone docks them and you know their address and you just want to go say hi and you have no malicious intentions, you still don't do it. It's a dangerous situation, okay? It's dangerous for the person's house that you're going to and it's dangerous for you. You don't know what's going to happen. Boogie shot his gun up in the air. The next person's home you go to who's an influencer or celebrity or whatever may point the gun at you and pull the trigger. And it'll be a lot worse situation than what happened here. Let this be a lesson to everyone out there who's an idiot who thinks that showing up to someone's house uninvited is a good idea. It can end a lot worse than what happened with Boogie and Frank Hassel. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.